Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about badges, what they are, how to disable them, how to enable them, and we can also swap these out. So if you don't like the stock badges, you could actually create your own, or you could download some user-created ones from the LaunchBox forum. So right now, I'm in my All section, and as you can see, I got most of my PC games up here. If we hover over one of these badges, it's going to give us a description. So here's 3D Mark. This is from Steam. It's installed and it's been unplayed through LaunchBox. Go over here to ProForce. This is from the Amazon App Store. It's installed, and I have played it. I just don't have a badge for played. Usually it just pops up as unplayed. Again, Origin, and we've got installed. If I head to my arcade section, we can see some more here. So uh, unplayed, I have multiple versions of this game. And this game here will utilize an eight-way joystick. Uh, I saw this in all right here. Steam controller works with this one. So there's lots of different badges that we do have right now. And if for some reason you're not into the badges, we can actually disable them very easily. With the latest releases of LaunchBox, if we head up to our drop down menu, we go to view, we now have a new badges section. In the past, we had to manually disable each badge category, but with this new release, all we need to do to disable them, we can just uh, turn them right off here. So this is going to turn every single badge off. Let's turn those back on. Game attributes, we can just turn those off if we want to, and you can go through and enable whichever one you want. So installed, it'll come up with our installed badge. Uh, there's just lots of stuff to this new one. We have storefronts, controller support, and all of this can be enabled or disabled, and we can do it individually from this submenu here. So we've tried to make it really easy to show which badges you want to be shown inside of LaunchBox. The badges you're seeing right now are the stock badges for LaunchBox, but we can actually change these. And uh, you can make your own custom ones if you'd like to. But if you head over to the LaunchBox forum, I will leave a link for this in the description. We have the Simple White Badges by Jesse Blue and the Neon Deluxe Arcade Badges by Mr. Retro Lust. So if you'd like one of these custom packs, you can download it, extract it, and I'm going to show you exactly where to place everything. So over on the left-hand side, I have my LaunchBox directory. Over on the right-hand side is my downloads folder. We have the simple white badges that we just downloaded from the forum. And I've also downloaded the Neon Deluxe badges because this does go really well with the Neon Deluxe theme for LaunchBox. Personally, I'm a huge fan of these badges here. But we're going to go with the simple white badges for this tutorial. And these also look really good. They're simple and everything's going to be unified with these badges. They're just going to be the white badges. So over in our LaunchBox install directory, what we're going to do is find images, and from here, we have badges. So in order to get these new badges installed, basically what we need to do is replace the stock ones with the new ones we've downloaded. Now, I would recommend backing these up. Right now, I do have a backup folder. These are all of the badges that came pre-installed with LaunchBox. So if I unzip this, everything you see here is already in there. I would highly recommend just backing them up in case you want to go back to the stock look. But I'm just going to take all of these white badges we downloaded from Jesse Blue over on the LaunchBox forum, and I'm going to replace all of my badges. And there we have it. It's replaced all of the stock badges in the LaunchBox folder. If we restart LaunchBox, you'll see that the badges have now been replaced. And personally, I really do like the look of these white badges. I think it just gives a really good unified look to all of those on the side here. But in the end, it's really up to you. And remember, you can always create your own custom badges if you really want to. You could use something like GIMP, which is a free photo editing software, or if you have Photoshop, you can do it there. But yeah, with the newest release of LaunchBox, it makes it easier than ever to manage your badges. And you can swap them out like you see here. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave them like this. I really do like the look of this. And real quick, just because I'm here and I already downloaded Mr. Retro Lust Neon Deluxe Arcade badges and the Neon Deluxe Arcade theme for LaunchBox, I wanted to show you these. This does set this whole theme off and I really, really love this. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. We really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in changing your badges out, I will leave links to the LaunchBox forum so you can download both of these packs and you can choose whichever one you want. Or you can always create your own. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.